but they, they clutch on up and, and sometimes when you have the individual talent it's where that clutch factor like this roster has shown at times you're gonna find yourself in a position to get some some victories but you can see right there karachi hardpoint we talked about lag they only have one winning hardpoint map well it is this one so at least you have that and yeah they was just talking about it the map pool in hardpoint Trying to get tested here is Karachi 0 in 1 for Optic Tech. Yeah, it was interesting. Like early in the year, we saw sort of between like FaZe, Ultra, and Optic, they all kind of had their strong maps, their, their insta vetoes, and there was a lot of difference in strengths in Hardpoint. Usually, as the year goes on, the top teams are going to be battling in your Hardpoints. Yeah, the more you can widen that map pool, the more you can be a threat across the board. It's big. And Nameless kind of gets to it. I mean, you've talked about this in years past with Optic and different rosters. Just like one more hard point here. One more hard point map and they're a bigger threat. Last year was a prime example of it. They always, it, yeah, the last couple of years. Yeah, just, they've I always mean, had an auto veto, right? That they, the time just couldn't rely on. So, and when you were playing the top teams, it's just got to be better in that map pool. That could be the difference for being a championship caliber team. So we'll see if it gets a little bit better here. But LAG, a nice time there at P1. They're going to find three kills. Off spawn will be Pride, the first man up over towards P2. He's going to get taken down. And yeah, we talked about Diamond Town. He has been the pillar, consistent for LAG. And this team, you know, we thought at one point during kind of call, qualifier one that they had a legitimate chance to kind of be a threat as Diamond Con's now up to 6 and 0. The respawn looked to be there. You thought it would just be subtle improvements and maybe they kind of elevate themselves into like a tier two type spot, but then the inconsistency sort of hit all over the place. They have not been able to find that form. No, not, but it's a shot right there by Shotzi. I mean, nice little jump. The, the headshots connect, but Assault able to step on up. He finds a double, some great time here for LAG. They're going to have close to a 50 to one point lead. And now you also have the rotation. You see all the purple arrows over towards P3. So Fame, he is the first line of defense set up here for this third hill. Well, Fame now. We'll see what a bit of magic he can get done of just one kill so far in this one, but a big opportunity to maybe make a play. And he's just tucked away. Surprise. Pops under out. the bed. <laughs> Able to get both Fame. Great play there. Yeah, I mean, just very patient out of fame, taking his time. Doesn't shoot the first player, allows the next one to come on through, and he continues to go. That's three in a row there for fame. Finally taken down by Pred. But this has been a couple of clean early holds. Finally, some pressure on the hill. Some gunfights going down. Pred able to win one, but on the hill, it looks like fame's going to find a double with Estriel. So control back over to LAG. So far, enjoying this 50-point advantage, and they've got it locked up for the moment. You know, and kind of mentioned they, they were hoping, you know, we've had some of these rookies that have really been the leaders for their team. Uh, when you talk about the signing guy, Linz or somebody that comes to mind, they're hoping Estriel can maybe unlock and be that guy for them. The consistency has not been there, but he has had his moments. As he now looks to get involved, can't find the player, can't get it lined up, but Fame will get it from the hard point. As you get close to that 100-point mark, and a great start here from LAG. Once again, Optic Texas, they've been guilty of these slow starts. Slow one here. Yeah, no doubt about it. You, again, you still have that cruise missile to jump into play, but over towards this new P4, Assault set up. Fame trying to get top AC, does get spotted, but buys enough time to put some shots in. Switching between the guns, nice slide, able to snap. So he's on four in a row. Maybe thinking about that cruise missile, going to play back bridge. They have an idea of where Optic is, where they're spawning, Ooh. but isn't it done by Dashy? Yeah, big kill. Make sure he doesn't get a little bit closer to any kind of streaks and maybe push out this lead any further. Still 30 seconds remaining in the hard point. Assault able to win it here from the counter. Shotzi just getting in the point. From an angle, it's going to force Assault to have to reposition, not be able to use the heady, but then Fame comes in right after it. And honestly, nice centering on the last player. Gets a headshot tag, but can't quite get all three. You start to chip away with some time now if you're Optic Texas, but as you look at that mini map, mini map bottom left, you get it so late, it's an easy setup now for Gorillas at the next hard point. Yeah, I mean, very similar to, to Hills 2 and 3. Yeah. Uh, you, you get these early rotations, and you're going to get set up. It's just a question of can they hold again this first push. They're able to do so. Shotzi, a slow start here at 3 and 12. Here comes the, the first push, and Pred's going to take him down. So now all the pressure here on LAG. The collapse is in. Diamond Con just trying to play his life. Yeah, I was about to say, Shotzi heating up is probably going to help these situations where you're breaking constantly if he can get going. But they do it sort of without him. <laughs> He's at 3 and 13. Pred gets the opener, as you highlighted. And now they get into position as Kenny's able to win a fight. Now Diamond, Diamond Con, his streak into the fray. That'll take Pred out of the mix. It's a... 
what the spawn comes in diner side for gorillas and they now try to force their way through but just running by players getting shot in the back nobody in the hard point for now i meant to take this though if you're off this right with 20 seconds left they invest in the cruise missile around 25 they don't get time until the final 12 so i, I guess you have the cruise missile out now you're gonna go back to a p1 where you're gonna have the early setup you're down 70 points though they're gonna need to get going here and it starts right now yeah, I mean, how often have we seen the game change in the second set of rotations? You got a chance to do it, but so far the kill's flowing for LAG. Cred maybe, opportunity to now be the difference maker. Able to pick one up in red, but that's about as far as it goes. Is Assault able to combine with shots onto the point? Fame now locked up inside. Fame, what a game so far. He's 14 and seven, and so far, looking at our, a lot like our first set of rotations it's lag in control of the objective early and diamond con lighting them up optic texas can't get close you are so staggered here if you are optic you're going by two by two right you, like you have to just play together and go as a four but optic down 90 points let's go to a listen in with texas us on the bus we all hit I start taking, I start taking guys right now. In the room, in the room. Back alley, back alley, extra. Extra, extra, 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 extra. Extra, He's in the back room, watch out. Yeah, back out, back out, back out. Extra on me, back out, yo. One, two, dead. Extra up. One more top single, boys. All right, one more top single. I'm front ticket right now. Front ticket, Diamond Con. Absolutely. Front bus, front bus. He's front bus, he's front bus. And one's front ticket. Got a bitch, mate, bros. One down, mate. One down. Pitch of fire. Trying to do it. Window, there's a little bit. I'm top single, I'm top single. Give me a second. I'm top single. Yeah, he's good. Soul's back out. Yeah, he's good. Soul's back out. Good. 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 Oh, yeah, me and Nina go on you, me and Nina go on you. Oh no. Alright, miss one now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss one. Yeah, he's on you, on you, extra. Back Where are you? Back right. Oh no, I'm fighting. Let's get out of here. Oh no, let me, one down. Challenge got back right. Let's do that, let's do that. 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 Let's we coming out of it and back to the action. Uh, Joe, obviously Optic Texas in a big hole. Did you see or hear anything during that listen that was frustrating I mean, for you? Still a little staggered there in the P2 push. You have Shotzi going a little bit quicker than the rest of his guys, but they're able to at least find this rotation over towards P3. Assault though, did you get them off the hill? So you have Assault and Diamond John trying to deal with all of Optic. And, well, they find three and they're gonna Whoa! find all four. Diamond John with the snap in the break at P3. Oh my god, it's not often you see Big Bruce, he put to sleep, but Diamond Gun with the absolute snapper puts him into the blender, dashy right off spawn, they're able to get a little bit of revenge and they'll try to get through, but you see 39 points right now if you are Gorillas, it's gonna, gonna take a wild effort from Optic Texas, but I don't know if you saw yesterday and you're an Optic Texas fan, probably not too worried because, uh, well, you're used to this. They come out a little bit slow and then they turn on the engines. I'd be a little worried. I, honestly, it just has not been the, the best sort of look. You're relying on a, a lot of things going your way. And sometimes it's just not going to happen. But again, true, it's just true. only a, a couple of maps. We'll see if they can turn things around. But right now, you just see the scoreboard here. LAG are just out slaying the hell out of Optic. Well, and you see also why this is one they're trying to work into. They're in the hard point rotation. They have work to do here. It is one they are trying to get better at and uh, maybe seeing some of the frustrations coming through for them. But Diamond Con keeps the heater going on five in a row before he drops up to 28 and 16. 30 points needed for Gorillas. They've got control of the hard points. Spawning out and trying to break will be Optic Texas. You get all this time, you get the map one victory if you're Gorillas. Yeah, just putting the pressure on Optic to have to push this one more time with 20 seconds left and it's working out. They find three kills. The last player alive is Dashy up top three. He's able to take down Fame on the hill. So, so at least buy them a few more seconds. We'll go to a P5 where you're gonna have Kenny and Pred in position. Shots, he's thinking, I gotta put more pressure on this. Just with the seconds that are left. Well, that's going on. His teammates are cleaning up here, trying to get set up. But Diamond John is going to say he's done it before, but not going to do it again. Yeah, and uh, you, when you've got that one-on-one -on -one going down for shots, you struggled throughout 11 and 25. His teammates going to spawn kind of near old, but an easy rotation over to next. So they'll still be in a good position due to the fact that you won the early two. If you're going to get this done, you're going to need the guns to get hot. 
If anyone can do it, maybe it's Optic Texas. They have been heroic, but not looking like it. Diamond Con has simply been too good, too consistent. Back into the point and go. Gorilla's chance to close it out now. I mean, nice team right there from Estriel and Diamond Con. A nice little slide across, gets the shots going. Diamond Con flies on through. Now Assault, who's on four in a row, finds a double LAG with a great Karachi hard point here to start us off. Well, Diamond Con, I mean, early in the you know, qualifier one, you're talking about him being one of the better hard point players statistically. You heard Ant say on the desk, you're relying on him to fry sometimes to get map victories. You said the same while well, he came out and fried. Had a map. It's a hot start here from Gorillas. A flat start once again for Optic Texas. Once again, you have to bring it back in the series. Yeah, and again, you know, this is a map they don't play very often, but just looking at the stats, it's not just, not, I mean, everyone is positive. When do you normally see this for this Opti team? This is not something you see very often. Yeah, minus 15 there for Shotzi. We'll see if they can get things going, but you're going to a Rio search. They're trying to implement again into the map pool. They haven't played it quite yet, but a definitive yeah. win here for LAG. It, and it's weird because it seems like a map where, like, for a player like Shotzi, you know, you should be able to really get loose play like a lurk roll, have an impact. You know how nutty he can get on the map. It seems like one where he should have a field day, but obviously not getting into a rhythm there. Yeah, I mean, it's just one that, yeah, a lot of the time he's cannot go your way. That's true, that's true. I mean, a couple of, there's not many sub maps. Now, at least you have Rio, but before Rio, yeah, there weren't a lot of two sub maps. Yeah. This was really it from, from what we saw throughout Major 1. But yeah, I mean, just right from the get-go, you get that spree going from Diamond Con. They were winning rotations, P2, P3. They able to find the big brace, but they just had such a, a huge lead and put the pressure on Opti to have to break and win rotations, and we just know how hard that is. Yeah, and uh, I mean, where Opti Texas have absolutely been the harder, uh, the better hard point team between these two teams, you just seemed a lot more disciplined if you were Gorillas, whether it came down to the rotations or uh, as you were talking about Optic Texas, the comms were there, but like the pacing of the actual pushes sometimes a little bit staggered, not waiting for each other. Whereas after you, if you were Gorillas, you were doing such a great job of that. Playing together, playing as a team, you get the map victories. We'll take a look at the game flow here from map one, but it was basically Gorillas, Gorillas, Gorillas throughout. They got the lead early, never looked back. Yeah, I mean, you can look at that second P1. There was just a point where it was two players from Opti died. Two players from Opti pushed, died. And, and that's just, you can't do that. You have to go as a four. The teams in the CDL are, are too good. That is day one hard point. Well, and sometimes it's like, you know, when we talk about coming out flat, I think everyone just sort of thinks about the gunny because, you know, you see the KD, you see them losing some gun bites. But uh, we've talked about this in the past. Like you also, sometimes it's like the comms aren't warmed up. And when the comms maybe aren't warmed up, yes, you'll hear them talking to each other. Maybe the comms like sound okay, but it's more like how you're reacting to those comms. How you're listening. How, how you're playing yeah. around it, how you're listening. Like you need to warm up your mouth and ears sometimes a little bit more than it is the gunny yeah. at this level. And maybe that's all it is. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've kind of talked about it. Like sometimes you're, you're playing these games and you're having a, a good day just because you, you're paying attention to your mini map, your teammates arrows. You feel yeah. like you have a good flow for the game, uh, and then maybe the next day that, that doesn't happen. Could be the same thing here for Opti just in, throughout this map one. I think we've all been there. Like, it's just like sometimes, you know, if you're playing ranked or something or playing with the boys, like if it's happened with you, like some days you say stuff, it goes in my brain, I digest it, I react to it. Sometimes you say something, it's in one ear, it's right out the other ear, it's delete and uh, you know, not reacting in an appropriate way. It can happen to everybody, but uh, we're taking a look now at our SD matchup as we get ready for map two. Joe, take me through. I mean, it's just major two qualifiers, so not the largest map pool here and again for Rio you are 0-1 uh, for LAG 0-0 but so far 1-0 here for LAG 2-1 if you are off to Texas and uh, some big clutches in that map 5 last night yeah, I mean, they have had to pull off some uh, some incredible clutches just on the year. Yesterday, obviously, being one of the bigger one. Squad's now just getting ready to rock and roll, maybe trying to get a little uh, fired up. You know, Ken did say in the interview yesterday, you know, maybe not feeling well. We expect this guy to kind of be a huge leader for this team when you're talking about how you want to play the game, uh, calming in game. Like, we, we think he is huge for them. So. Maybe a little bit under the weather. Maybe that's not at 100%. And maybe as he starts to heat up, warm up throughout the course of this, they'll improve. But we get ready for real search. Yeah, and obviously LAG. Okay, so LAG's 1-0, obviously. I must have wrote, wrote down the wrong Rio as own one. I was probably looking at the wrong team, or maybe I was looking at the Rio Hardpoint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're undefeated in SD throughout this, this major qualifier. And Diamond John, he's been a big part of that.
But they so, did lose so, the, so the Vegas. Smear porn over your stats, Joe. It's uh, it's three to one. You know, sometimes you're just looking at the different things and you write down the wrong thing and then you look stupid. Or well, sometimes, I mean, uh, the uh, the spreadsheets. It's just so much info. Sometimes that you look at through some of our like team pages we have. I'm like, there are so many numbers and so many names. Woo! Woo well, Shotzi, who struggled maybe in that map one. Bringing it now. Incredible start here. Fantastic little drop shot onto the second player. We're gonna leave Diamond Con, the hero of map one, by himself trying to clutch. You get him to reposition with the nade, you chow right after. Beautiful play to win that final one on one. Yeah, I mean we're just gonna take a look at this from Shotzi. Uh, and maybe you're you're happy to see this working that flank quickly able to find a freebie and then just the timing it looks I, I mean yeah fame has the first shots and oh. he just kind of loses him he has like the first five bullets there no he got he he, he got yeah he got pp'd on a little bit there joe yeah nobody wants that to happen not at all but we kind of talk about it with the rival those first shots don't hit and then that recoil gets away from you and it's a little windy yeah yeah Dude, that's a hell of, it, it's just wild to see a kill from Shotzi after he goes like 12 and 700 map one. But, uh, bringing it now to the map two. Can he get involved into the mix early in this one as he starts out 2-0? Spotting for info, but it's going to be a first blood for Esriel. Pred ripped out of this. Bomb, though, still in Shotzi's hands. You look to develop something offensively here if you are Optic Texas. What kind of timing does he get this time? Not able to snap a little bit out of his range. Assault puts him down. Win behind everybody though is Dashy. Can you take down two? Maybe three. He gets them all as they line up for Dashy. Fries them and suddenly it's assaulted at 1v2. Ah, uh, frustrating one for Gorillas here. Yeah, just I actually love the play. They they gave up middle of the map after finding the first blood and just said, give them the bomb, let's retake. But we're to a one-on-one. -on -one. It does not matter. Dashy with the ace. I don't know what the timing was, but LAG sends three on the flank, and, and then he's just behind it. It's, we're going to take a look here from his point of view. Yeah, they all run by him, and basically he just takes them all down. It's easy to find the ace in the round. And it's just one of those where, like, you know, you don't really take much damage, if any, from the first two players, so you're able to win the third, too. Just lurking there. They run by. Dashy with an ace. He's 5-0, and oh, one away from a cruise, and whoo! That's one where you get the first blood of your gorillas, and things just, uh, our wheels come off in the round. Yeah, again, I, I think it's the right play. Uh, just, you don't spot him, and he's going to... He gets all you. Well, usually you think if there's three of us together, somebody's going to trade, but in that particular situation, not the case. Uh, Pred, with a bit of a Christmas present there for Dashy, blows him to pieces. Yeah, a bit of a present maybe for LAG2 to get them back in this game. Still a two on four, turn to a two on three. Kenny and Pred, trying to see if there's any magic left, but finally LAG get on the board with the help of Pred. Yeah, I think he's like, listen, we felt bad how that last round went. You guys all lined up for Dashy. You know, we've been there. We've been on the receiving end of all lining up. You know, we're all friends. So we're going to give one back to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah no. I'm sure that's how it went. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. I was thinking like a refs in the NFL. No, I'll tell you like, what, yeah, though, bro. a makeup call, bro, for a bad call or something. <laughs> Give him one back. <laughs> uh, sometimes they just get away from you in this game. I don't, they, they hit like the top of something, yeah, some yeah. invisible, and they bounce back in your face. Yep. I always love the ones that just like, they make no sense from like a physics standpoint. You're throwing it a flat surface, but it just yeah, comes right back. And you're like, okay, is there a, some surface I'm not seeing there? No, it doesn't appear there is. The physics I learned a little bit of, and that is impossible. But yeah, no, they can certainly get away from me. It happens to Pred there. Estriel in a fight, top mid. He takes a bullet, repositions, trying to keep Shotzi at bay. He'll be your bomb carrier. They're starting to work up a bit towards A. You've got Dashy in position offensively. Diamond playing deep, but as much as you've got a presence towards A, bomb working its way towards the other side. It's kind of a 2 2 split here for Opti. What kind of timing is Fame going to get? It's not going to be good timing. He looked Woo. away for a second, Shotzi. That is just what he does. Able to catch him with that hop up. But again, still pretty split. Is Estriel going to try to take some space? And instead, he's going to find the other optic duo in Predadashi. Yeah, I'm assuming Diamond had some info. So you're thinking there, the two of us can cut this off, maybe cut off the cross. Now you wrap it all the way back, though, if you're optic. And you still got Diamond here. Things start falling apart a bit. The shots get through. You can't quite finish the next if you're Gorillas. Optic makes them pay at the tail end of it and they get their third round on the board, but all over the map there if you're optic. 
Hey, and again, right, what these teams are thinking is we have a first blood, let's just group up and trade on out. And it's happened out at LAG. It almost happens there to Optic when they're kind of going through this transition to start to group on up. There's just some timings maybe not going their way. It almost catches them off guard, but nice patience there. As, yeah, Dash, he, he's 6-0, but he, and he has the, the team nade death. So that comes in, so he does no cruise missile. Looking for an opening now. This is LAG with the opening comes to Renee. This time, Texas connecting with the right player. I still get the first blood and Shotzi at four and three. Obviously, a much better showing here than the map one. Starting to work their way up towards mid for a second. Looked like Gorillas were ready to pounce, but just playing for info. Maybe a pick as of now. Try to bring this back into a three versus three. But Optics getting aggressive and it's fame slides. Two of them have pushed up the map again. Shotzi. Finding some early kills in the round. Yeah, I have to just get a power up together. Again, just challenge everything after that first blood as a four man. I mean, Shotzi's got what, three first bloods now? He's working on an ace too, right? He has the name. Oh, They're all gosh. lining up in front for a second as I don't know who got the final kill. Okay, I know I think it was Ken there. I okay, okay. I just there. in case maybe it was another ace for me. Yeah, I was Ken that was able to get it. But Assault gets through. damage into everybody, I think. Yeah, it hits a couple of wall bangs on the last player, but again, just the number's too much. And yeah, those first bloods have been just so impactful here for Shotzi. Well, yeah, he had him round one. He had the nade in this one, obviously. With bomb in his hand the previous round, able to jump up and catch fame. He's on a three streak now at six and three. But he's certainly dictating the tempo early in these rounds. Put himself in a spot spot to catch a good timing, catch somebody unaware. Kind of similar setup so far to what we saw in our last offensive round. Eventually, Shotzi kind of worked his way towards that hop up. But this time, you get a lot more aggressive on the other side. So Kenny is going to push up. It was actually Dashy in that position. What, their previous offensive round. Kenny plays here, gets way more aggressive and able to catch Diamond Con. So you get an opener. That's an instant wrap towards A. Not able to catch Pred in the corner. He's able to get the drop shot and win the fight. You've got commanding edge. Again, if you're Optic Texas, up 3-2. Yeah, they were able to find Dashi on the flank, but Estriel just goes a, a step ahead of his teammates and then gets caught, loses the one-on-one. -on -one. So now it's Fame, who's left in a one-on-three, pushes this into a one-on-two. And they need him to clutch up badly. Well, they'll be in a 5-1 hole with a loss here. Tries to snap, not able to win it. Texas, take the round win. A round closer, tying us up at 1-1. Yeah, and again, it's just both teams kind of, you know, on their attacks, just playing maybe a little bit around the information that they have. And Ken just goes right up to the bomb site inside a garage where there is one player, just wins the one-on-one. -on -one. And after that, you just saw all the green arrows. All right, bomb site's ours. Let's go. We have the man advantage. Yeah, I wonder if, keep that, it. if that was sort of a calm from last round where him and Dashy, Diamond Dashy were kind of dancing down there like the whole round, if there was some sort of calm, but Dashy was like, he was playing it like this, and Ken's like, all right, I'm going to hit that. <laughs> well, I, I think he was just in garage. I don't even think he was showing. I think he was just maybe just playing info, holding an angle. The way LAG have been playing, it's been so mid-heavy where sure. they're like, a bomb site's probably open. This time on bridge side, it's the openers from Gorillas. They will pounce. Estriel and Fame both able to get one. They haven't had a lot of success with the first bloods. Here they're able to do it. Ken, though, trying to get away. He gets out. He's on four in a row. Maybe a chance to bring this back, but it's all going to be in Dashi now. One versus three. Oh, he had a triple earlier. Can he do it again? They're all out in front again. This time they're looking at him, though. Not away. <laughs> They'll deal with him. Yeah, and he ran out of bullets in the MCW. Maybe if he's got that out with a full clip, maybe something can happen. Yeah. Switches over to the Renetti. And yeah, it's just a tough one again. They just swarm it. It has been so important on a map like Rio with how quickly you can traverse the map. That first blood has just dictated these rounds. You're going to have to rip off five straight to win this map. If you're Gorillas, step by step, you're able to get one. Does Shotzi have another first blood him, though? So he's found about half of them throughout the course of this game. Looks like it might be fast and heavy over towards A. Remember, Kenny gets aggressive. Takes out Diamond Con the last round. Yeah, Diamond Con this time, different position. Yeah, plays it much safer. Backs all the way up, finds the info. They're playing a retake then, yeah? Yeah, playing a retake and maybe just playing for the info. Maybe they think they fake this back to B, right? But all three players starting to work the flank for LAG, not going through the middle. 
Bomb not yet planted. I was waiting for you to start the bomb. bomb. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the longer they wait, the more time they give this LAG team to start to work the flank. You maybe catch a Tommy on the dashy, but now he's got some help. Yeah, now you're able to get it down clean. Not get caught in like a 4v3 with a bomb planter. 30 seconds to go. Collapse now coming in. Several in front of Pride. He's at least able to take down one. You trade well, though, for both sides. You've been going one for one. That's where it changes. Ken able to stay alive. Shotzi then wins it on the other side. And Optic Texas will get your search and destroy victory here. Came out slow, obviously, in that map one. Really took took over and dictated the pace of this map two instantly. No doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, Shotzi obviously a big part of that, but just their teamwork. Their teamwork was better in that map than what we saw in the hard point. Just playing together, making sure we're fighting, being in position to help each other out. That's why sometimes I think it is just like, it's just getting the comms and the ears warmed up, man. It, it really is. But just a, a team effort on the side of Optic. You know, I mean, obviously you, you have that dash around that really changes things. Yeah, uh, you, yeah. You know, maybe if it's three, four, things look a little bit different, but true. dashy. But he finds three in the round. Even one LAG find that first blood. And that's a tough one to recover from. Yeah, where uh, Diamond was so good in that map one, obviously. He had a monster hard point. Uh, two and seven here in the search and destroy. Can't quite replicate that success. And, uh, you know, when the action did come to his side, at times getting caught. But we're going to take a look at our overall best of five again, see where we're going. If this goes the distance, striking first is Gorillas answering back is Optic. Karachi Control will be next jump. Yeah, and I mean, we just saw this from Optic, right? This is one they're very comfortable with, and they're ready for uh, all, all the clutch situations that they need here in Control. Yeah, I mean, they've, uh, they've got plenty of clutches in Control, plenty of clutches in Series. They'll be looking to do it again here. We'll see if uh, Optic can close it out. Maybe go 2-0 and on the weekend. Uh, Gorillas. Doing what you can, trying to improve things, but uh, we are going to head to a quick break. When we get back, we are back to the action. Tied up 1-1, the swing game, in control to follow. Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator. Now available in-game in the Call of Duty store. The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Monster Energy, the official energy drink of the CDL.
Hello, and welcome back to the Columbus Studios as we continue on. Uh, this is where everything gets done, all the magic. Joe and I are in another room as we are commentating, but it's all the great people here. Yeah, these are all the talented together. people. We're just the people, we're, yeah. you know. They do the thing so we don't look like idiots, Joe. But and we uh, still do. Yeah, no, we managed to make that happen ourselves. But we're ready now to head to a control. Tied up 1-1. One, one. Um, optic flat again early, but uh, starting to wake up a little bit. And it's just been, I don't know, a little sloppy with Optic at times. Yesterday was a uh, grueler. You survived that one. Uh, was thinking maybe they come up with a little more, I don't I don't know, like a little more hunger today. Yeah. Wasn't the case. But then you bounce back in the search. Uh, that's, you know, they, they got some bounce across the modes. It helps when you come out flat. Yeah, and, you know, I mean, the control. It's obviously one-sided here. 2-0 for Optic throughout this stage. Uh, they've been doing on attack and defense. And this has really been their home on the year. Karachi control, they are 5-2. and two. They've played it seven times. So definitely their most comfortable control on the other side for LAG. They played five. They're one and four. But this is the, the part of the series that gets a little bit scary for them. Maps three and four. Karachi and then follow up with a Skid Row hardpoint. I mean, Skid Row hardpoint, that was Optic's home there to kind of start the year. There you can see just the uh, the different stats in LAG, uh, 11th and 12th in a lot of those, and that's not good. Yeah, I'm imagining you're not going to get that same uh, optic team in map four, right? Like, <laughs> it look likely going to be a whole lot different, but we hop into it. Did we now get ready to go? I know why they were showing that wall. Yeah? Yeah. That's the Ben J route. That's the Ben J. That's the Ben J route. Stop. <laughs> He's a demon, though. He's a demon. One of the best you've ever seen. They call him Bald Selium. I've heard that. Yeah. Uh, but back into the end of the game. Uh, fame. Oh, oh, well, he sticks the door. But him and Estriel on this B point already a tick done. And, I mean, maybe you're thinking about giving this up if you are Optic. Uh, you have to. You have to. I mean, this is done. This is done. You're not even close. You let him get this, and they see no pressure coming, so you just leave two on it. You start to maybe hunt a little bit if you're assault, see if you can find any kind of openings. But B is done. Two minutes now to work with as you set up now around this A point. We'll see. It's a little different than you usually see on this map. We'll see if they can pin it down for two minutes. I, mean, I think it's possible, but you got to start finding some of these kills. We had early in these rounds, no trophies quite yet, so it can hurt or help them. But Pred going to find one. And he finds a second inside a fountain. Those railings seem a little bit tricky, but Estriel, what a nice snap. A pick here for Estriel. Wrapping all the way around through dumps will be Pred as he tries to get back into the action. It looks like they've got that. Well, they had it picked up maybe for a moment, but now he finds an opening. Pred does to get through. Kind of have just a 2v2 on the, uh, either side yeah, of the yeah. map. Dashi and a wrap on back to help his teammates out in a big kill. Estriel was up to 4-0. Fame, though, still in their base. Now with a couple of players off spawn, he can deal with them. But he's just hoping Assault and Diamond Con, the rest of the squad, can get out. And they have not been able to do so. No, no, you haven't really found any presence here yet. And a minute's gone by, so this has been so, so great. You found an early kill. Now you get three. Now, hopefully, you can find something behind this. I doubt this is going to come down to lives. You've only got 50 seconds to work with. Can you start to get some progress up towards the objective? But most of the kills kind of come out kind of far from the point. So no one able to get towards that, get set up inside the objective. Is there yet to really touch it? You might need some moments where you're at least going to stop the clock for a moment. They haven't found that at all. Well, I thought maybe Shotzi was going to go up and, and get top three control first, but instead he's just going to find the spawn kill onto Assault. And this has just been flawless. Yeah, they have dealt with this so, so well. If they have not got onto the A point. There's one player bridge. Shotzi going to find them. So they have recovered wonderfully. Still top three control over to LAG. 13 seconds to go. The nade connects. You know, it just sort of feels like usually on kind of the first point, you get a sense of urgency where you got to sort of throw bodies at it to get it and extend it. There was never really any kind of sense of urgency to really make plays on the objective. They wanted to find the kills and make it be clean, but like Optic Texas never really gave it to him. The three down was the biggest threat, but you had no one really in a position to get onto it. Everything else was just sort of efficiently traded between both squads, so there was never that opening. And it's sometimes, I don't know, you just have to like hit it and get someone on the objective and then make Optic react. Like you just never really got to that. Yeah, I mean, never really got out of their spawn, right? Well, yeah. once, once they got to the B point, it was this sort of this two-on-two, -two, and then Opti just kind of set up this trap, never really gave up those power positions. Finally, you got the three dead, but Dashi responded with that first kill, and then got Shotzi right back to his, right back to his place. Yeah, I was just, I don't know. 
I mean, great hold from up to Dex. Yeah. Unusual also from Gorillas, I thought. Let's see what you can do on off. It's a little more standard here for Texas as you'll get right onto the A objective, something that uh, Gorillas were never able to touch. But they did get their one point. They got their three ticks. We'll see if Optic Texas can answer in kind. It's the first bit of progress we'll go through. And now Trophy in for support as well. But as two players drop, one of those is the player cleared out of A. So back to square one we go. Looking for the openings onto the objective. Dashy killing everyone. His Preds just snapping around, trying to find where shots are coming from. Dashy laying down fire. Yeah, just from up top. I mean, they were dealing with Fame. Fame got one player off the point, tried to play his life. Was just trying to buy time, not able to do so. His teammates get taken down by Dashy, Dashy, and Pred then get on that point. So now we're gonna see can LAG hold over towards B. It was all offense yesterday, really, until that round number five. The defense to start and nice shots there from Shotzi. Well, you kind of got junk side control here. If you are optic, you know, look to progress this, but kind of getting shots in on your flag. It's Fame that's able to get the kill on the Pred. So head's turning for a moment, trying to pick that up off spawn will be Pred, but do you leave him and just try to hit this? Kind of leave him and take the numbers over towards B, but Estriel's got him locked in for now. Yeah, Diamond Chan trying to work the pinch. Not gonna happen. So optic, they just want to make sure they have junkyard control. Maybe they can force those close red spawns if they get these players out of bottom red, but it's Assault Nestrial just kind of finessing, playing their lives. Assault goes for the reach out, but the trade is in. Is Estrial, he's on five in a row. Yeah, now that all those fights over towards Red and Junk, you're able to get control of your Gorillas. You still get spawns here if you're Optic pushing all the way through. Sort of your opposite side development a Dumpster. That will be Shotzi. But they he's know, trying right? to make a play there, but yeah, you see kind of the read here from Damacon. They know oh. somebody got loose. He gave it up, though, so he gets over the Dumpster, so he's just sitting right there in the stun, he put it over, so oh, they have no. no idea where he is right now. They know we're missing Shotzi, not a clue where he is. Diamond got surprise, I'm right here. The, the timings that just did not go his way, now they are three dead, unreal. Yeah, yeah, you lose him, uh, you, you play it for that exact play. You're aware of what, what might happen. Thankfully, your team clutches up and deals with everybody else. There's only so much that Shotzi is gonna be able to do here by himself. He's eventually going to fall, but you win some of those fights if you're Optic Texas. Shotzi still in that position. Things might unravel, thankfully, for Diamond Con. The rest of the team clutched yeah, He's up. watching the alley. He throws the stun oh, over right. the alley. Yeah, he's yeah. into the corner. Chad time and it's fine. It's with 20 seconds to go. Estrell up to 14 and 7. And Optic, they're going to have to wait for one player off his spawn. Trying to work this four man push. Here we go. Shotzi with the opener, but he has one HP just trying to get down. Trying to get held back, but it takes a while. And not going to happen before he's traded out. Now, eight to go. Dashy, hit positive five. Trying to get involved, trying to stop the clock as he's able to get on the point and stop it at 4.3. Kenny will drop in the process. Eyes for Dashy as they line up for him again. Trying to swing through, but the timing there, when he goes for one, the other wraps in through the door and he drops. You get the kill out front, nobody else on the point. You can't stop it. Gorillas hold on and we're basically tied up if the rounds were, uh, I mean, total opposites kind of where our fights are going down, but. Honestly, impressive stuff, though, too, from LAG on this defense. I mean, we saw, like, Red, it's not always the easiest thing, this point, to kind of re retake, just hold for two minutes. Normally, those Red spawns come in, and sooner or later, they're just going to flood you out, but does not happen. They do a very good job, and that's behind Estriel and Fame with the SMGs. I mean, Estriel, he, he was great in stage one, especially in control. Well, I thought early, like early in that round, they had kind of that junk push for Optic when they knew there was one player kind of on a deep pinch where Predator died, that they were just kind of send it, take the four on three and go. But they're kind of trying to deal with both sides of it, and then things kind of fell apart. They never got in that position again. They never really got an opportunity to lock it down and flood and flood and flood. It might have been there for a moment to set up, but it fell apart. Uh, this time, Optic trying to make sure they don't lose B instantly as they're able to do that. Granted, they showed us they can lock down A just as well. And they find that first kill, just reposition. Estriel, though, was able to find that cruise in the last round, so they have that to work with as he went on that spree. Diamond Chan just trying to hold this position, wait for his teammates to come off a of spawn, but again, just very slow on this rotation. Over towards A is LG. Finally, they get on the point. So much to clear, waiting. And well, he's gonna have the right call, but Shotzi just runs right through the stun, able to find the kill. Shotzi snaps, he actually gets a bullet to get to his salt, but freebie there for him with the high ground. 
So now you stop it at 38 seconds. You look to get some time. Lovely shots again from Assault. There's a couple of those that got to be headies. Yeah, but the timing Rick's works Kenny. out. The timing works out. It was a double flank. It was a double flank. So Assault gives this up. And as soon as he finds the first kill, followed up is Pred. And Pred's going to find three. He times that out so, so well. If Assault just holds the, the top three dumpster, he finds both of those kills. And they probably get A. But he gives it up for a second. And then Pred able to take down three of his teammates. I think sometimes you're thinking it's one, right? Yep. Like there's only one that's gonna be working this surely. And then yeah, second player there, surprise. As he pops with a play could be now you're only down to 15 seconds. And you use your cruise on it to try to work A. Not even, this is you still have another point, so they're in a bit of desperation here. And this optic defense has been so good here on Karachi. I mean, outside of what? The opening 30 seconds of round one, they've been flawless. Outside of just losing B to start that, as they get caught off guard a bit, and they've been flawless. It, it normally, like, some sort of crazy clutch play oh, that happens over towards B. Yeah, yeah, right. That's sort of the difference maker on this map, but that has not been the case here for either of these squads. We still got some rounds to go, though. Maybe the madness is coming. Maybe some holes in the defense to come. Pratt will take a four spree into this round as he works towards the cruise. That maybe he'll a uh, better chance than the one we just saw for Gorilla. <laughs> There's like 15 seconds on the clock and they're going for it. You were you're a bit surprised there, but Optic, once again, kind of a default setup right onto A. Pred is through for the trade as Kenny falls first, but everybody else pretty much dropping. You got to set this push up again if you're Optic Texas. Good first hole from Gorillas. Yeah, right, trying to find Fame. Fame just wraps on back. I thought da Dashy saw him. Not gonna spot him, so. Yeah, first 30 seconds off the clock on the opposite side of the map. Shots able to take down Assault. It was working junk side, so just trades going back and forth. Right now, numbers advantage over to Optic. Well, you got somebody on it again. Good job just applying pressure, stopping this clock. Making Gorillas worry about somebody in the objective. You can see they're kind of worried about everybody else right now, making sure nobody slips through the cracks, and then they start to worry about the point. But the first ticket progress is done. Shotzi has just been inside soaking it up. He's got eyes over the top. Dashy was kind of the hero of the last time they got A, right? He's able to get that triple. We saw from sort of Pred's POV as he's snapping around. Dashy's got topside. He's frying everybody. They decide now's the time to stack it up inside the point. The grenade will hit. So it Dashy, once again, maybe a clutch moment, but they try to clear him out as they got the rest of his teammates out. You stop this with, what, a millisecond left on it. I mean, that was all Estrell. Estrell somehow finds two inside a top secret, and that just is like, okay, because they were all wrapping a B. They were, they were gonna give that up, but behind Estriel's two-piece, Assault then hits the flank, but does it matter? Doesn't make much of a difference. Yeah. A couple couple seconds, maybe, in the overall clock. We'll see if it comes down to a couple seconds. Maybe, maybe it did matter, but I think it went from like 53 to 45 or something like that. They got back on it fast. There's a quick trade, and now Optic just trying to find some spawn kills. Diamond just running for his life. Shotzi's, look at Shotzi's lurking over to you. <laughs> I was wondering where he was. I saw his arrow kind of like dancing over there towards Diner. As he finally does drop, spawns out deep, and looks to get back into it. Through the bus, the shots come in from Kenny. And they start to collapse on this push. And you've got to push kind of through dumpster side. You've got it progressing through red. You win some gunfights, and you might be some tough spawns for gorillas. But you have two players here, and Diamond Con kind of gets the opener to stop this for now. And they do get on the point, but again, just so patient here from LAG. But now you have those close red spawns. Yep. They they found Estriel. That was really the first player yep. that gave them so much trouble. And now you can see the close spawns come in. A trophy, though, does find a kill. Maybe going to be the hero of the round here for LAG, but they have to go. It's three players on it. One tick already done. Dashy off spawn has the close spawn watching the cross. We'll see if the subs can get through. That was a perfect example of what you were talking about, the red spawns. And you can start to flood and flood and flood. Thought it might take one flood and one group of picks, but they are able to regain and pick them off of it. Second bit of progress was done. You've got 30 seconds to go. We'll see if those eight seconds might be a difference, Joe. <laughs> yeah, but again, those close red spawns are coming on through. You're just trying to hope someone can make a play. And while they're doing it so far, but it's just into a two on two. You can see Kenny right back to it. He's going to spawn on up number five, but maybe behind that double, you finally get some peace here if you are LAG. One tick to get. 20 seconds to go. Six lives. Verse five. 
Who's going to be the hero here? Tries to pre-fire around the edge. He is able to re-snap, but Assault in able to get two. No respawns remaining on the side of Optic. Seven seconds to go. You have a massive three-player clutch that's able to come through yesterday. Not looking like any heroics this time as Assault gets a flurry of kills down the stretch that end up big for the squad. But if you're Optic, you finally get the close red side. You get in. You just had to get the win in that first push. And you kind of said maybe that trophy was a savior. It might no, have been. It might have been. been, yeah. Yeah, you might have force stacked that and maybe just had Dash in a better position to help out with the dumpster. Uh, because he comes off a of spawn. And I think they just kind of know with the one kill that jumps through, like, we got to go. We got to go quickly. They throw their stuns, their nades. But it's been the SMGs. Fame and Estriel have been so clutch around B on defense. Is this what? Yeah, four defensive rounds. Is this one of those classic round fives? It'll be a little bit different. We'll, we'll see. But LAG have not found anything. Assault got like four of your last six or seven kills, too. He, he got a, had a bunch of big ones there. He takes the four spree into this round. But yeah, who knows? Fifth round. Usually some wackiness that comes with it. What's been mostly kind of calm and controlled outside of that last one. What do we got going on oh here? Boy. It's all optic so far. And when this happens, you're into your spawn and you're into the blender early. That opening wave might milk a lot of time off this clock. Yeah, I, I mean, I just don't know whether it's just a poor offense here from LAG or fantastic defense here from my, maybe it's a bit of both. It's just not what we normally see, but it has been the trend of this map. Can LAG get out of this trap? Yeah, can they get A? <laughs> <laughs> like, in round one, they have so much time to do it, they're never a threat. Here, best of luck, you are in the trap. Someone does get out, Fame gets out, but... Will it matter? That may not matter. Can one player be the difference? You're already at 18 lives. You blink, and almost half the lives are gone. All right. They did it, they Is got it out. too little too late? We'll see. I know it can just be one great moment, one great swing for offense, and you're able to take control of it. But usually when you're going towards Diner, it's sort of that battle of attrition where you're throwing bodies at, throwing bodies at. And guess what? You have a lot less bodies to throw at it now if you are Gorillas due to the poor opening here. I'll take one to go. They want to go for this. Why not? Why not? It, it has worked out so well for them. It comes down to a 1v1, oh and Estriel with his 30th of the map extends the time a minute. So now the difference is due to the, the fact that you go for it, you're not really set up perfectly. You're able to get to red kind of for free if you are gorillas. You get off spawn, you try to get in position, but you're scrambling a bit if you're optic due to that choice. Can you get some clutch kills here to be the difference? And the SMGs are doing it. Fred, Shotzi, Dashi, well, yeah, he kind of go one for one across the board. Yeah, I mean, Estriel, he, he was trying to work a pinch forever and trying to help out his teammates because they know. They need this close red spawn. He's on four in a row. Maybe he can find another cruise. Something to help them out. Dotsy back in a position. Using their teamwork. Finding the first kill. It's not a lot of time. A heater from Estriel on 32, as you mentioned, trying to work towards that streak. That's five. There's Doesn't number five. Six. The trade happens from Pred. You make sure no cruise missile thrown into the fray late in this round. Now 20 seconds to go. Optic trying to hold. Gorillas trying desperately to break, but they keep winning their ones. The gunfights they were losing all that map won. They're starting to take them as they're starting to come alive. They're lining up once again there in front of Shotzi. Does enough damage maybe to seal it. You've still got one player really here trying to be a threat, but nobody is going to get close. Optic Texas behind a stalwart defense, able to get the victory there. And I think that was showing, you know, how great they can be on defense and also just the offensive woes of Gorillas. I mean, oh, yeah. five, that's five defensive round wins uh, yeah. in this map. I, I don't know last time we've seen it on Karachi. Right, it's like we were normally, playing a little invasion. Yeah, normally you see this on invasion. Yeah. Rare to see even from day one, but I, I mean, props to both squads that deal with that red pressure over towards B. And props to Optic in round one, holding A for two minutes, but uh, a great team map again. And you got shot to Yoen 31 in 26 on Karachi, but you have three players over 5,000. Kenny right there on the opposite side, a slow one for Diamond John because Estriel. And fame slowed down a bit, but those two were contributing a lot. Listen, I know the defense was great from Texas, and at times you had them pinned, like, uh, you know, back back in A, uh, you have them pinned in spawn, but like, even when there were opportunities for reals, it almost felt like sometimes someone just has to get on the damn point, and like, you trust your teammates to win some fights and put the pressure on them to retake, like, 
they were struggling to just like get a body on the point sometimes. I know partly that's the defense, but partly it was just like, it was almost like, who's going to do it? Like, who's going to get on it? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know. No, it's definitely there were some chances. You, like, you weren't pinning your spawn the whole goddamn round. Yeah. Just, uh, I don't know. That's when they're going to have to go again. They're one and four on that that map, now one and five. So, oh, yeah, Prep is the perfect example. He saw him kind of throwing his body onto it one time, and he's like, oh, I'm dead, but no, Dash. He's like, I got everybody. Don't worry. You got to put some trust in your teammates. Yeah, but I, I just think majority of those runs, they were stuck in there. Yeah, no, there, there, was, there was a long time where they were. Yeah, and that probably gets you like, you're probably playing a little hesitant too. Like once you get out of that finally, because you're like, oh, we're at a life deficit. We've been getting destroyed. That's true. It, it changes things. But uh, Optic going to clutch up in that round five, go up 2-1 in the series. And like I said, this 3-4 looks great for them. They're going to go to this skid row hard point where they are 5-1 on the year. Yeah, they've had some uh, phenomenal skid row hard points throughout the year. They look to shut it down, maybe get a little revenge from the map one. Obviously for Optic, Karachi one, they're trying to work into the map pool. Skid Row one, uh, that they have found a lot of success, one that could be their bread and butter, and they look to get going here as Optic look to close this out. We thought this would be a comfortable series for Optic. Um, you know, maybe the beginning of this, just partially coming out a little bit flat, partially just trying to work a new map into the rotation. But since that map one, they've certainly heated up. The search looks strong. Um, the control was a... It was a weird one, I guess, but like we're, when the moments they needed to be good, they were. They were great. Yeah, great in, uh, on those defenses. But yeah, we'll see if their skid row still up to par. It's one that it's one of those things where you start off of the year, then the veto starts to come in, more teams will play you on it. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll take a look now at those skid row hard point stats that we were just talking about. As you're going to see here, I mean, LAG, not bad on this map, two and three, right around six through eight in, in all the stats, but on the opposite side, five and one. That is the numbers that stand out there for Optic. Uh, it's definitely one they like to get to and one they're going to feel comfortable closing it out here. But you've said it throughout. Once you get to three and four, it gets strong for Optic. They throw off the, the slow start. They get ready to fire and fry here in this map four. Um, Shotzi, just from map one to map two, looked to be a man possessed. Uh, Dashi has had some brilliant individual moments. Uh, everybody starting to go nuts. And now you're relying, I think, on LAG. It's like, OK, you know, map three, we had a really good effort from Estriel. Um, it was very close. Map one, we won. Diamond Con went bananas. It's like, are we going to get that effort? Can Diamond Con just go wild again? Well, you just can't always rely up? on that against no. a team like this, right? So uh, you just need a team effort, right? You're going to see, you're going to need the Estra that you saw in that map number three. Then I think you're probably looking at Assault and Fame to step up here a bit. I mean, Fame's been a guy, it feels like when he goes off, this team wins. It's just... Well, winning those It's like their little Energizer bunny, dude. Like, yeah, he gets rolling and <laughs> they start frying because he's finding his zen right now. It's important. Got to stay locked. Got to stay relaxed. Yeah. Don't stress it. If you get to the map five, it's interesting. Both teams are two and four. So it's okay. a 50 50 there. A bit of a wild card if we get to that invasion, search and destroy. Then can you survive this if you're gorillas? Don't know if that, that'll happen. Can you survive it? And, you know, we saw what we casted this last. I think it was, uh, what, we had New York, Boston. We cast it on, like, you know, from the strong side. Then if you get the P2, like, this is one where you can go up 100 real early. And then we'll 100-point lead. We see, yeah, we maybe see a lot of comebacks on this map. Just sort of the, one of those ones. Take a deep breath. Even if you're down, there are plenty of opportunities to chain hard points together and get back into it. Seems like no lead at times insurmountable here. If you make the clutch plays, but... Right into it we go. Kenny winning his one of those is two. I was but say, then everything ah. starts to explode. Yeah, this guy's just standing in the middle of the hallway. No nades were touching him, but able to find that trade is assault. So again, you're gonna find the early time as we talked about, you have that better side. Here come now the trades off spawn. The stuns and the nades. But LAG doing a very good job. And you already see Diamond Count number four in position to lock down tunnel. Yeah, so this might be a kind of an exact sample of that. Like you might be in a 80 to 100 point hole early on, but just going to have to weather the storm and then know your opportunities are going to come. And that's why you just saw them kind of four-man hit the last 20 seconds. They're just trying to get as many points as they can off of the P1. Kind of soften the blow up a little bit. Yeah, to negate this. Of course, they're going to try to break it. Estriel, though, it will spawn up towards P3. So we're going to have a bit of a free pitch here, you thought? No, Kenny and Dashi going to read it. So it's going to be two dead. 2-1-4 for now. Now just down to one player in the hill. 
players off of spawn. You to try to start to watch those crosses, but it's five in a row. Not going to find number six as Assault watches the staircase. But already great pressure here from Optic. And he's just trying to stay up as long as he can. Knows he has to take a fight, but Optic able to get in. So screw everything I said. We're from the strong side. He had a good opportunity to take this big lead. A clutch break and clutch kills from Optic Texas. Get them into P2. And now this kind of switches everything on its head. You've got an advantage. Now, what can you do with it if you were Optic? That'd be frustrating there if you're Gorillas. Yeah, I mean, Gen 2, one kill away from a cruise. We saw how impactful cruise missiles can be. I, I think Damachan did stat calm. That one player was pinching in Pred. And that was from uh, his teammate Fade, but still loses the gunfight. But on rotation, starting to deal with Optic so far. So they're going to be set up here at P3. It's just one of those maps where a lot of the big hard points, like some of the power positions, you can hit with the cruise. <laughs> like, yeah. you're not inside a building, like the P2, the B3, like you can. You can find big kills. Now trying to answer back though is Gorillas. Now you're getting pinched though. Or should be shortly. I thought uh, I thought in number six shots he was gonna kinda pinch that out with Dashy, but one player goes, you lose your one-on-one, -on -one, you get everybody back into the point if you're Gorillas. Well he knows his teammates spawned up and he knows that another player was gonna spawn over towards laundry, so he's just playing his life, trying to make sure it works out. Yeah, that they can focus on Ticket Booth's side and yeah, he's just being annoyed. Have to worry about this man. A heads up play leads to the break from Shotzi. Beautiful. Uh, there from Shotzi as he's seven and six right now, trying to make that map one a distant memory as he starts to make an impact in the lead. Goes back the other way. I'll take Texas. Now back out in front. Our next hard point getting ready to pop. A tight was so far. Yeah, this is what we saw though. A lot of the times in map one, it's just that the first holds, LAG were dealing with it, right? But Skidra, a much different map on some of these hills. They may be optics a little bit more comfortable as you've seen already. They've had back-to-back -back brace. They're going for it again. They've already done a two for two. Did they find the third? No, Diamond John with a nade connects. And they need Diamond Con to be huge. And he's trying to do it in this hard point as they go back out. In front here with the lead, trying to get trophy down. Going to be caught though. So that three spree will come to an end. The swarm will come through, but the reinforcements are there and the trades are on. If you are Gorillas, you still have a contest, though, in the point. They wait for the nade. They try to deal with this. The smoke, though, from the nade kind of makes it difficult to see. And then you win the fights if you're Optic Texas with about 20 seconds remaining. Now we hop all the way to the other side of the map as we get ready for P5. Some key fights going on here on rotation. Yeah, it's kind of a 2v2 on both sides of the map. But now LAG with 20 seconds and a spawn and up. Try to overwhelm. Nice shots from Assault. The headshot on the shot to take him out of P2. You want to get a player in that position. But kind of the same story. You kind of split the hills. It's almost a tie game. LAG early with the hold over towards P5. It's a swarm through ticket side. But Fame is in behind. He's kind of lurking mid-map. He's able to give some help over to Assault and Diamond Con as they're holding. Now you deal with kind of the pinch man in Fame, and you try to brute way your force or brute force it through Ticket. But you've got two players here. You've got trophy coverage. You've got eyes through the long cross the other way. You're just into the blender at Ticket. Yeah, that can happen. You're all stacked up. You're all getting fried. Five in a row for Assault. We know this guy. I mean, get him to his spot, let him shoot straight. He can do that. You got an advantage now. You're trying to push it to a map five to listen in now with Los Angeles Gorillas. I'm from Wiki, I'm one of us, right? I spawned six steps. I'm gonna try and pick your uh, I'm top mid. Yeah, I got you. Nothing there. 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 Nothing he went to point. He P3. He threw a tech on him. He got you, got you. weak. Absolute deep down. Two. I fired, I fired. On the road. Fire, fire. Three. Up towards, up towards, up towards. That's the job. Nice, four, four, four. I'm one shot fire. 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 I'm one Oh, I'm 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 I
I left Saxon uh, garage. Close, close dumpster garage tunnel. I'm on top down. I did it. I did it. Cross. Try to kill. Top time. Uh, you had a chance there to get a break of the big P2. Uh, the street hits. There's a team kill, I think, that comes in the midst of it. You got a railing fight inside. They could be so much fun. It's chaos, but the end result, Optic still holding a P2. I mean, Fred just wins the big one-on-one -on -one versus Fame. That's it. If Fame gets on that point, things look a little bit differently. His teammates can maybe help him out. I mean, maybe he gets taken down, but he at least breaks up a good amount of time. Instead, it's Optic with a 20-point lead. And now, breaking this P3 uh -oh. set up here from LAG and no cruise missile to work with. I swear, this P2 to P3 decides the game more often than not. When you can chain these two together, that is when you run away with it. What well, looks so good for Optic Texas for a moment. Gorillas are able to get the kills to the clutch time to get back into it. Now trailing by 15. A flurry of fights on both sides of it. I can test here for now, but the need will hit as Kenny will clear him out. And you have a chance to get a healthy amount of time if you're Optic Texas and push this into scary territory. You'll be what, about 220, 230? Yeah, you get that right there. Shotzi was on five in a row. I thought you went a little bit road there, but just started <laughs> to push. Yeah, with just that change, Cruz is so important, but it doesn't matter. They have that 50-point lead now to work with. All pressure on LAG. A beautiful job trading. Those two points together, you got to be terrific here if you are Gorillas. Shotzi trying to disrupt, though. Gets one, but can't quite get out, but makes it a bit messy at the next hard point. Give a chance for the next line to push forward if you are Optic Texas into the point. Our Gorillas. Such a good time last time through if you were off to test, just getting in and contesting. Just making sure you can test. Even if they don't get a lot of time, you just do this. There were dead nades on the floor doing everything they could to make sure they couldn't wrap that corner. And then you fry everybody out of the point. And more than likely, you know what's better than two to three? One to two to three to four. Joe, usually that works. Yeah, it works out. Now you are 15 seconds away. Great plays from Shotzi. Again, Assault was able to find Kenny on God stairs. And that's really the key position that you want. But Shotzi there for the trade and then just chokes them out on the hill. Just such a key player behind the brace of Optic. And well, now Skid Row is done and dusted. The match is over. Optic with a 3-1 victory. It was close until it wasn't. Fred wins a big one-on-one -on -one inside a second. You get a big break on three. You break again on four. And yeah, I usually get three hard points in a row in the second half of a game. That's likely to decide your victor. Uh, great stuff there for Optic Texas. You back. Bounce back after you know, a lackluster map one, still trying to work on that Karachi. Otherwise, looks strong. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think there's absolutely some areas where you 